working on a part for another project unrelated to my outbound build. I need to make a custom uh, rubber bushing that I can't find a size for anywhere. So I'm drawing up a tool that I'm gonna to use to mold this. I'm just gonna 3D print this. And just drew up a profile and revolved it here in SolidWorks. I've got a cavity here that I'm going to, I'm going to pour in some urethane rubber. And uh, we'll see. I, we'll see if this works. I've I've cast these before with silicone. I've never tried a rubber one, and I've never tried a 3D printed tool for this. My concern is with the 3D print, there's going to be some you know layer lines, and it's going to maybe act as a mechanical uh, locking of the rubber to the mold. So I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to pop this thing out, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, worst case, I can turn this up um, out of some bar stock, aluminum bar stock, and use that. But I, I think this will work. We'll see. I do have a one degree draft angle, which I think should be enough to help you know, pop the part loose. And I'll uh, before I lay the rubber in there or pour the rubber in there, I'll um, I'll wax it up and you know try to get it as slick as possible. So let me save this out and 3D print it and get ready to pour this thing. Changed the design slightly so I reprinted a new one, but effectively it's the same. I just made it, I had the sizing wrong, so I made it a little bit uh, smaller, made it to the correct size. So here's what I got. Um, I'm going to smooth out the inside surface here a little bit with a grinder, with a Dremel grinder there. And then I'll come in with a little bit of sandpaper, the best I can fit in there, smooth that out. And then I'm going to wax this thing up with some, just some Carnuba paste wax, I think will work. I don't have any mold release wax right now but I think the uh, paste wax will work. I'll mix up a little batch. Uh, it's it's 3.1 to one by weight for the resin and the catalyst. And uh, we'll get this thing poured up and let it set and see what happens. Okay, I poured out 23 and a half grams of the resin. That means I'll need about uh, eight grams of the hardener or the curing agent, they call it. Give this a good shake. I'm making more than I need, probably about twice as much, but I wanna make sure I get a good mix. Small batches, it's hard to get a, a proper mix. I'm gonna tear this out now. And I'm gonna get me eight grams of the curing agent. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a pretty aggressive mix. Scrape the sides up best I can at the bottom. Give it a mix. I'll pour it into a separate one prior to pouring it into the mold tool there. That's just to make sure you don't get any, you're, you're getting only the mixed goods and not any type of resin or catalyst stick into the side of the cup. And now I'm going to pour it in.
This is self-leveling, so I don't need to be too concerned about getting it perfect all the way around. It'll level itself out. I'm gonna stop here and see where it levels because I need it to set just about a sixteenth of an inch or about a millimeter and a half under the edge of the cup. And right now I'm at about an eighth inch or three millimeters. So I'll bring in some more here. And once this is done, I'm gonna bring this over to my uh, drill, drill press T-slot plate, which I know is, has been leveled, because I do wanna make sure this sits nice and level. A little bit more. Just a touch more. It. Okay, I'll bring this over and let it set. I'm just going to let this set here and cure, and then we'll see how difficult it's going to be to pop it out. I don't know. Hopefully not too terrible. Well, here's what I ended up doing. This is a separate one. What I didn't show is the, the one that I just poured. I was able to separate the rubber from the tool. I used a small screwdriver and kind of dug around the edges and, and I got it to come out. I had an idea, I should put a small hole in the bottom and then I could use some compressed air in there and pop it out. So that's what this one is. And I've already done a test one. I'll show you on this one here. It works brilliantly. All right, I've got my part here, air nozzle. Just gonna line up the air nozzle to the hole there and give it a shot. Came right out. And it's a nice part. There we go. Homemade rubber isolators, custom size.